Today we're removing the stereo from a Subaru Outback. We're going to start with our pry tool and around the gear shift, pry up around the edges of the silver trim and remove it up over the gear shift. Uh, set the parking brake and shift to a lower gear. With our pry bar, we're going to come back and pry the insert up in the center of this console here, working around the right side, along the back, and up the left side. This will allow us to pull the back of the panel up while at the same time pushing the front of the panel down so that the two clips or locking connectors at the front will release. And then you can pull this back up over the gear shift and turn it over for access to the connector. On this connector there is a trigger in the center of that you pinch into the connector. It will uh, release and you'll be able to remove the connector and set this portion of the dash to the side. Next, with this panel removed, we have two screws that have been exposed at the back of the gear shift here, one on the left and one on the right. After removing these screws, we're going to grasp the panel on the right and pull this straight up. We're going to follow this panel up the dash, pulling it away from the dash, uh, up at the bottom and back at the top. This will release all the clips and we can set this panel to the side. Over to the left side, we're going to pick up the back edge of this panel, work our way up, pull it back from the dash, releasing all the clips, and set this panel to the side. This is going to give access to three mounting screws on each side of the car stereo. One at the uh, bottom right corner of the AC controls, one sort of towards the center of these controls on the right, and then one just above this. There is a fourth screw at the very top that does not need to be removed. Remove the same three screws along the left side of the car stereo. You'll pull the stereo slightly from the dash and access the emergency flasher switch on the right side. The trigger for this connector is on the bottom of it. Pinch the trigger into the connector and it will release. This will allow us to pull the stereo a little bit forward from the dash. We're going to locate the antenna. It does not plug directly into the back of the radio but is back in the dash and we'll disconnect this connector first. Uh, these connectors are all keyed, so they only go back to one spot. We're going to push the trigger down on the main connector, release the connector, and move over to the second connector. Now we have the uh, ground connector here as well, and this one is a pinched release, and the main connector on the opposite side. Squeeze the trigger into the connector, release the lock, and remove the connector. This is how you remove the stereo from a Subaru Outback. Hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe and like our video. Thank you.